Welcome back everybody, today we're looking at V Rising that came out on May 8th, a couple weeks ago, and its proposed minimum requirement. This a very positive reviewed game is a mixed bag of, uh, let's say, uh, Diablo, Castlevania and some city builder or base builder. Anyway, I'm not there to review the game, I'm there to review the minimum requirement to play the game. So they propose i5-6600 or AMD Ryzen 5 1500X, 12 gig of memory, the GTX 750Ti or the AMD Radeon R7-360, only require 7 gigabyte of hard drive or SSD, they don't specify. And they put the additional note as minimum system requirement may change in the future, but we know at release 1.0 so i don't know if it will happen welcome to response pc i'm dunk let's rise on let's start by saying the disclaimer it will be at 1080p because we don't know which resolution it's going to be at uh, lots of things because that's what normally it should, should be at the minimum requirement and the target fps i would say it should be a 30 because this is not a fps game so as long as we are over 30 fps it should be okay and the last part of the disclaimer is i'm always doing my testing on a fresh install of windows no junkware no pre-built uh, stuff or free antivirus and with all the driver up to date so to start up the testing i have the i5 6500 i don't have the i5 66 but that's close enough 12 gig of memory which is a weird amount of memory but i put 12 and the gtx 750 ti with the latest driver obviously at 1080p low settings render i set it up at the balance instead of performance and we reach an average of 46 fps and some area we have high 50 mid 50 and low in the low 40 fps it is highly playable when you can see that uh, those spec are uh, mostly fine in the current uh, office pc hp or dell optiplex this is a really viable game but keep in mind also i'm uh, solo playing i'm not in a co-op of four people and my castle only have uh, some floor and some wall and some stuff uh, to build stuff in it and maybe or more likely probably going to be more uh, hard on the hardware later on in game or hand game but for sure for a minimum requirement this is a quite a decent and if we jump to the amd side of things it's the ryzen 5 1500x still a 12 gigabyte and the r7 360 i don't have the 360 but i have the r7 370 so the gpu is a little bit better it's about 18 percent better than the 360 but it's the closest i have and from these days and age a card of uh, nine years old i don't think will make that much of a difference but if you have a 3060 instead of the 370 expect about a 20 percent less fps i guess if you calculate it that way since the 370 give us an average of about 60 fps the 360 which is 18 percent less should give us a 48 47 fps quite similar to the gtx 750 ti so the 370 give us a high of a 62 fps and a low as a 51 52 fps again still at 1080p low settings render balance and i'm playing solo without any uh, people in my co-op or my castle <laughs> still looking at the most basic as uh, it can look like but it is highly playable so i guess it's another win for the proposed menu requirement we still don't know which was the goal or target fps but if it was a 45 it's quite on it in conclusion the i5 6500 not the 6600 was uh, having an average utilization of a cpu at the 66 percent i guess the 6600 uh, will give us a, a bit a lower utilization maybe maybe not or not even noticeable who knows for the ryzen 5 1500 x we have an average cpu utilization of a 33 to mid 40 again probably the cpu can go lower uh, maybe a ryzen 3 1200 for the gpu the gtx 750 ti was maxed out at 100 percent peg same go for the r7 370 probably be the case also for the 360 for the ram when we are on the intel side we using 6.5 gigabyte of memory when you jump to the amd side we are at the 8.5 gigabyte of decision so the 12 gigabyte is yes and no no if it's intel and yes if it's amd i've encountered really few starter in both platform so there's that and if you have anything higher than that you can crank the visual higher or maybe the resolution higher but this is a really fun game to play with really low expectation on hardware and that's all for that video i'm going to try to do a real minimum 
spec for this game, but I don't expect to go that much lower. I try to advance more in the game, so I have more things going on in the background and around. And if you want to check if your PC or spec can play the game, just post it in the comments. I will try to do a short with your specs with that game. Thanks to have come watching and see you in the next one.